Have you had any standing moments lately? Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always good to connect with you midweek. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling blessed this week. That question for you again, have you had any standing moments lately? If you're normally part of our worshiping congregation, you know that over some Sundays, we've been spending some time studying the book of Acts. I like to call the book of Acts the fifth gospel. It kind of follows up on Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the stories of Jesus. The book of Acts tells the story of the early church. It's the continuation of Jesus' work. And we've been talking about the disciples and the early church and just some things that are happening there. One of the stories that we didn't have time for on our Sunday mornings together is the story of Stephen. Stephen was one of the leaders of the early church. He was a pretty influential leader. Uh, there was a moment when Stephen, and we get this story in the Bible, when Stephen is kind of called to account, when Stephen was saying some things about Jesus that some of the leaders of the church didn't appreciate. And in one of the chapters of the book of Acts, Stephen is given an opportunity to tell people what he knows about Jesus and about God. And some of the leaders were really hostile towards him. Just reminds me that sometimes even the leaders could be disconnected from God. They thought they believed certain things. Boy, were they wrong. But at the end of Stephen's little speech, there's something really cool that takes place. Sad, but cool. Stephen gets this vision of heaven. Like he's giving this great testimony about what he believes about God. Boy, Stephen is right on talking about Jesus. And it's like he gets this vision of heaven where he sees Jesus standing. That's what the Bible says. He sees Jesus standing. And then Stephen says, I see heaven open and I see the Son of Man standing. Oh boy, the leaders were so upset at him then. They accused him of blasphemy and they stoned him. Stephen died. Sad story. But there's something really cool there too. And that is that throughout the Bible, one of the kind of the symbols of power is for a person to be sitting next to someone else in authority. Like when it says of, the, of Jesus that Jesus will be sitting at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. You've probably heard that from the Apostles' Creed or something before. If you sit at someone's right hand, it's like you're second in authority to that person. It's a position of some status and esteem. That's not what the story of Stephen said. It doesn't say that Jesus was sitting. Stephen didn't get this image of Jesus sitting in heaven. He got the image of Jesus standing in heaven. Why would Jesus stand? Well, friends, it's because whenever someone stands for Jesus, I believe that Jesus returns the favor by standing for them. So Stephen had this moment when he was given the opportunity to tell what Jesus meant to him. And boy, did Stephen do it well. He took a stand for Jesus and Jesus returned the favor and stood for Stephen. Here's my question for you. Have you ever had any standing moments? What have you done with the standing moments in your life? Those are the moments when you have the opportunity to sort of take a stand for Jesus. That is to say, hey, here's what I believe about God. Or here's what I believe about Jesus. I'm going to take a stand for what I know to be true. Friends, throughout the course of this life, you are going to have your standing moments. They will be opportunities for you to stand up for what you believe and to live out passionately and with commitment in what you believe. Friends, I believe that when people like us stand for our faith, Jesus Christ returns the favor by standing for us. You're going to have your standing moments. Make good use of them. Make use of every opportunity because when we stand for Jesus, Jesus stands for us. And I pray that you take good care of those moments, friends, and you make good use of that opportunity. Hope and pray you have a wonderful week this week, friends. Don't forget those standing moments. Take care. God bless. May the Lord bless you and your family. Bye-bye.